Hey everyone, I'm back, and what would be a proper intro to this video would probably be... I'm back! And this time, we got Fate of the Furious. Because, why not? Alright, uh... <laughs> now before I get into the review, I'm going to pick you up to speed, no pun intended, of my history with the Fast and Furious movies, and that is, I haven't seen them. You know the drill here, right? I judge this movie as a standalone film. So don't kill me if uh, <laughs> I uh, judge this movie and like, yeah, it's problem, but the movies have more to this movie, and I think you know what I'm talking about, but let's get into this. The Fate of the Furious has basically, I believe, most of the cast from the previous seven, except for Paul Walker, I believe, when I from what I was told. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. Uh, this movie, it, um, how would I describe the plot? Um, Don, the character of Don, uh, played by Vin Diesel, he is... Uh, pretty much, uh, I believe the word is blackmail into uh, joining an organization that he doesn't really want to, but they have something beyond him. And so, that's basically the movie. And the crew has to kind of bring him back, like, or do what they can to stop the organization that Don's with. And uh, if you saw the trailers, you know what the plot ish is and when i say ish uh, this movie is kind of style over substance but we'll get into that later so having not seen any of these movies i was hoping it would be at least entertaining and it was it was entertaining i think this movie is completely acceptable for what it is and if you've seen the previous seven then i think you'll at the very least enjoy this movie and not much else to say about that uh so the acting uh, i mean the best part best uh, acting in the movie involves the rock he's my favorite character in the movie i can't remember his character's name sorry there are some good performances uh some good laughs and uh, i was surprised to see how practical this movie was because I, I'm used to seeing like a lot of CGI. This movie has some practical effects that I really liked. And the acting was pretty fun. But more on that later. Uh, it's a style over, sti style over substance movie. For what it is, I can enjoy it. Would I rewatch it? More on that later. Now let's just get into the negatives just to get these out of the way. Uh, about uh, style of the substance, uh, let's break this down, and let's start with the editing. It's not Resident Evil, the final chapter, or Underworld Blood Wars. It's not John Wick Chapter 2, where it's great. It's just not very well done. It's kind of choppy. There are some editing choices that I didn't agree with. In some of the action sequences and about half of the humor for me didn't work but the, when it works it really works but when it doesn't work it, it just comes across as flat and just trying to be funny which got old after a while but it gets good again and it's kind of uh, you know like a chart how it can either be up and down, it kind of goes up and down, up and down, up and down. You get the point. You, let's try this again. Let's try this again. You get the point. Uh, the action sequences, while fun, I didn't find them very engaging. Probably, probably because I haven't seen the first seven. I keep saying that, but... It's all I got to let you know what my issues are. It's probably because I didn't see the first seven that 
the, the action in this movie wasn't as engaging for me. But I feel that if you've seen those movies, then it will be a lot more engaging for you because you know these characters and they're very well fleshed out. And one thing I did like was uh, some of the drama in the movie. That's uh, another thing I really liked. And overall, this is a, a perfectly acceptable movie for what it is. There's nothing fantastic in this movie. There's nothing absolutely offensive in this movie. But, and one other thing that I forgot to mention is, it, when it uses CGI, you can tell it just does not look finished. And that kind of pulled me out of the movie. And, uh, that's basically it. So, in the end, this movie was enjoyable enough for me to recommend it to other people, even though you'll probably never watch this movie a second time if you've never seen the first seven. But I'm going to give The Fate of the Furious, otherwise known as Fast and Furious 8, F8, a B-. minus. That sounds like I'm pushing it a little bit, but hey, what can I say? I enjoyed it for what it was. Thank you, uh, as always, for watching. If you, you know, enjoyed this uh, video and want to see... Uh, other content on my channel. It's on my channel. <laughs> uh, I'll leave a link down below uh, to my Twitter account. Follow me there, even though I haven't done a lot. And uh, be on the lookout for other movie reviews. Even though there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing uh, in April that I'm really looking forward to or anticipating. Maybe a couple movies that look slightly interesting, but we'll wait for the movie until the movie comes out. Until next time, guys, be sure to uh, comment, like this video if you enjoyed it, share it, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I will see you when I get my next review up. Until then, have a great day.